Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my evening weekend routine pamper and essentials that I use. So I really hope you guys enjoy this and that you find it interesting. So first of all I usually set up my bathroom by putting all the products I'm going to be using in a little wicker basket just so I've got them all nicely laid out and so I know what I'm going to be using for the evening. I then also like to light some candles and just make my bathroom look all calming and atmospheric so I've got a few tea lights in, little tea light holders, I've also got some little lanterns in there as well which I got from Ikea and the tea lights are the vanilla ice cream scented candles from Ikea as well and I just like to make it look nice and relaxing and just set the mood really so that's what I've done basically. And I also like to put a large glass of water with some ice in the bathroom as well to refresh me along the way as I do my pamper routine. And then I put my bathroom on and that was from eBay if you are wondering. I also run a bath but I'm not going to put anything in it just yet because I'm going to be using a bath bomb and I like to let the bath run before I do that. I then start on my hair care and my skincare routine. So I'm applying the Lush Jasmine and Henna Fluffies treatment to my hair which is an amazing treatment to use if you get really fluffy hair or your hair is prone to just going really fly away or just really kinky or wavy. It's great to just keep your hair not looking nice and smooth and soft and it's really good if you've got red hair as well because the henna in it not only softens your hair but it brings out the natural colour of your hair especially if you've got red hair like myself. I like using that for that reason and it smells very nice. It's quite an oriental scent I think. And then I just pop it into a top knot and fix it with a hairband, which was a bit annoying because it was one of the tighter ones and I couldn't get it to go on at first, but I managed it eventually. And then I start with my skincare. I use the Be Pure Micellar Water to cleanse my skin and I use a few drops of this and put it onto a cotton pad and I do my eyes first and I do the rest of my skin afterwards and I hold it down on my eyes for about 10 seconds to get rid of any makeup or mascara and I find this is a better weight than just literally rubbing at your eyes the whole time. I think it's a lot more better for your eyes and it doesn't tug at the skin. Then I use the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter which I am absolutely in love with and this is so moisturising and clarifying as well. It's great if you have quite troubled skin or if you just want to keep your skin feeling quite soothed and replenished. I think this is great for a lot of different skin types and I just basically massage this into my skin, into all the pores and to all the little creases of my skin and it just helps to give a deeper clean to your skin and just leave it feeling really soft and smooth which is what you want out of a cleansing bar. And then I will take that off using a dampened face cloth just to help open up those pores again. Then I use the Mint Julep Scrub by Lush and I just put a bit of this on my lips just to get rid of any dry skin off my lips to leave them feeling nice and smooth and it smells like mint. Then I use the Origin Clear Improvement Face Mask which is a charcoal face mask and this stuff is great for clarifying your skin, for getting rid of any spots and just to help to renew the skin and just make it feel so much more fresher and cleaner but you do look a bit weird with it on because it's a really charcoal grey colour and you look like you've got a very dirty face but I assure you it is absolutely lovely, I really like this mask at the moment actually and I just put this all over my face just to help really clean the skin then I'm going to be popping a Lush bath bomb into my bath and the one I've got is the Golden Slumbers one by Lush and this is available in a gift set called the Spa Gift Set I believe and this is made with chamomile and lavender to create a lovely dreamy calming atmosphere in your bath and just to really help you unwind and relax for the evening it's perfect to use if you've had a really stressful day or if you need to use it before bed if you want to help unwind before you go to sleep but I just really like this one because it's got a lovely scent then I use the African Zymenia scrub from the body shop to scrub my body. I like this because it's good for putting a bit of oil back into the skin as well as to scrub it. It's absolutely gorgeous and it smells amazing. It's quite a floral sweet scent but I really like it and I love the way it makes my skin fall after I've used it. 
Then I used the Lush Stepping Stone Foot Scrub and this smells like peppermint but this is great if you've got really achy feet or if your feet feel quite dry or just quite sore. I really like this because it just really helps to get rid of all the dead skin and leave your feet feeling nice and smooth and soft. Perfect if you want to wear flip flops if you're going on holiday. I will remove my face mask with a hot cloth just to help really get into those pores. I then wash my hair using the Organics Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner made with the protein of eggs and I just like this because it's very lightweight, the coconut really helps you condition and soften the hair and it just smells amazing and it really leaves the hair feeling lovely and smooth and bouncy but it doesn't weigh it down too much which is great because my hair is quite long and then I just soak in the bath. Then back in my room I've got a candle one and this is the Sweet Almond and Macaroon one from Jo Malone and I love this. Then I use the Aroma Water by Lush and this is made with lavender and this is really good to help balance the skin and to renew it and this is just great to use with a cotton pad to get rid of any impurities and just to really help clean those pores. I then use the Origins Drink Up Intense Overnight Mask for my skin and I love this because it's really good, it's made with fruit extracts and it's really nourishing and hydrating for the skin and it's perfect to leave overnight to leave your skin feeling lovely and smooth and refreshed. Then I use the L'Occitane Eye Balm and Mask Duo for my eyes which is awesome as an overnight cream and I just dab that in using the ring finger to the under eye area and around the orbital bone just to help make the skin around my eyes look refreshed and renewed. I then use the Whipstick Lip Balm by Lush and this is made with chocolate and this is great if you have really dry lips. I just put a bit of this on my lips. I then use the Pistachio Laura Mercier Whipped Cream Body Souffle and this smells as good as it looks. It is a really nutty smell and I absolutely adore this. I like the consistency too. I then just roughly blow dry my hair as well just so it's not really wet when I do the rest of my stuff and just to give it a bit of volume really. I then make a cup of tea and I like to use the Twinings Everyday Tea and I'm just putting it into a really cute little Robin mug which I love. I then put on an audiobook and at the moment I've been listening to the Harry Potter ones because I absolutely adore them. Last but not least, I love to get in bed with my Guide Dog Unity and my laptop and write some blog posts or do some videos or go on Twitter, whatever I like to do really and just have a cuddle with her for the rest of the evening and drink my tea and just chill out. So I really hope you enjoyed this video today guys, I am happy to do more of these pamper routines if you like them. Don't forget to comment down below with your pamper essentials and what you like to do on an evening in and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! P.S. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.